everyone. My name is Dr. Chenna Cole James, pharmacist and founder of Fun on the Farm. Welcome. My fundamental belief is that the best patient is an informed and educated patient. This is what I call patient empowerment. Did you wake up this morning with itchy, watery eyes, runny nose, or scratchy throat? I did. Allergy season is here. If you suffer from seasonal allergies or allergic rhinitis, you're probably allergic to pollen from the trees, grass, or weeds. One of the most effective ways to decrease the symptoms of allergies is by using a neti pot. I love it and I try and use mine every single day. A neti pot is just like a kettle-like structure that helps to flush or cleanse the allergens that get stuck inside your nasal cavity. Today, I'm going to show you the proper way to use a neti pot. You can get a neti pot from your local CVS or Walgreens or Rite Aid. Just go to the cold and flu aisle and the neti pot is going to be there. It costs about $10 and um, you can pretty much use it until it starts to fray or it starts to wear out. It's about um, $10 so you get a lot of bang for your buck. Inside the neti pot box, you're going to have your neti pot and you're going to have about 50 little packets. Inside these packets, you have a salt mixture or salt powder. It's made up of sodium chloride and sodium bicarbonate. Sodium chloride is just some um, salt and sodium bicarbonate is just baking soda. So if you run out of the packets, you can just mix it up yourself. So let's get started. The first thing you're gonna do is wash your hands. I already did that. Make sure you wash your hands. The second thing you're gonna do is make sure your neti pot is clean. Anything can trap bacteria. So your neti pot used after a long period of time, it's gonna have water in it. It's gonna have bacteria in it as well. Make sure you wash your neti pot out with soap and water. Dry it out or air dry it with a paper towel and um, you're ready to get started. So dissolve the packet that comes with the neti pot inside about a cup of warm water or the solution that you made. You can um, make that put dissolve the salt inside a cup of warm water and pour into your neti pot. I've already done this for sake of time and now you're ready to go. So you're, you're probably going to be standing over a sink but because um, this is where I make my videos. I have a bowl that I'm going to use to collect the water. It's not hard to do, but it does require a little bit of technique if you've never done it before. It's going to change your life. I used to take a allergy medication every single day, and sometimes I still do, but it just decreased my symptoms, so I'm not sneezing as much. And when I wake up in the morning, my nose is not as itchy, and the neti pot has helped with that. So. Let's get started. So the first thing you're going to do is gently blow your nose after you have everything ready. Just blow it gently. Then you're going to tilt your ear, your head, so your ear is facing your sink and you're looking at the wall, so it should be 90 degrees. You're gonna take the spout of the neti pot into your top nostril, so I'm facing this way, and let the water run out of your bottom nostril. You're going to do this till about half of the neti pot solution is gone. Then you're going to lightly, gently blow your nose and then you're going to do that to the other side. Tilt this ear so it's facing your sink or facing your bowl and then you're looking at the other side. It should be 90 degrees because you want the water to run out of your nose and all the allergens to come out and you don't want to make a mess of yourself. So here we go. So I'm putting it and you want to breathe out of your mouth. Do not breathe in. So I'm going to quietly do this and I'm going to show you. That was the first side. Have your tissue ready.
blow gently. Mm, I feel it already. And then now you're gonna do the second side. Okay, I know it looks really gross, but you're gonna love the way you feel after you're done using this nutty pot. For like a week, it's gonna feel like you can decrease the use of your allergy medication. After you're done using your nutty pot, <laughs> wipe yourself off. But don't lay down, like don't do it right before you go to bed. Wait 30 minutes because sometimes you can get some pulse nasal drip. And don't blow your nose really hard because obviously your ears, your nose, everything is connected. So if you blow your nose really hard, some of the water that gets trapped in here, if you, you know, right after you're done, can go into your ears. And you know that feels horrible, like you just, you know, got off of a long flight. So um, make sure you blow your nose gently like very softly you shouldn't make any noise and then don't go to sleep for 30 minutes or don't lay down for 30 minutes after using your neti pot okay until then self-love yourself what is more important than you thank you